Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for June 12th. Today's devotion is titled, He Knows Your Name. The Bible reading is from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 to 7. But now this is what the Lord says. He who who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. After breaking with our longtime church, my husband and I reunited with the fellowship after three long years. But how would people treat us? Would they welcome us back? Love us? Forgive us for leaving? We got our answer on a sunny Sunday morning as we walked through the big church doors. We kept hearing our names. Pat! Dan! It's so great to see you! as children's author Kate DeCamelo wrote in one of her popular books, Reader, nothing is sweeter in this sad world than the sound of someone you love calling your name. The same assurance was true for the people of Israel. We had chosen a different church for a time, but but they had turned their backs on God. Yet he welcomed them back. He sent the prophet Isaiah to assure them, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. In this world where we can feel unseen, unappreciated, and even unknown, be assured that God knows each of us by name. You are precious and honored in my sight. He promises. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This promise isn't just for Israel. Jesus ransomed his life for us. He knows our names. Why? In love, we are his. Why does God welcome his people back to him? And how has he shown that he knows you by name? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.